Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to talk about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going in this coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. If you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain. But over time, I became more consistent and profitable. If you're not profitable yet, I believe that you will be over time as well. You just have to stick with it, stick to your trading plan, and build your edge. Without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at NASDAQ on the four hour chart. And if you saw my past video, I actually drew this drawing here when we were about uh, August 17th. We're at the lows. I said, I think we're looking for a rebound. And I was expecting us to come to the 50%, possibly a 618. Really crazy because this is exactly where it went. You can take a look at the last video that I posted. I literally drew it to here and it expects us to reject and take out these lows down at 14,600, 14,500 in the coming weeks. We went there faster than I thought, just kind of rocketed up, took some people out in the short side and then had a, a very quick dump. So now, you know, we could chop around um, based on seasonality. Seasonality suggests that we go up into the end of August and then September is when we roll over again. So there's two possible scenarios in my opinion right now. I think that number one, we either trend up this coming week and we go higher than the 618. We get to maybe the 70% and then early September we roll over and then take all these lows or a uh, second alternative is basically coming back up into the 50%, about 15,200, maybe 15,300 in this coming week, and then roll over in August and then take out the 14,500 and lower on the NASDAQ. And that's you know basically one of two plans right there. So if what I would like to do is get in a short. I actually got in a short at uh, 15,300. As soon as we swept this four hour high here, last video I said I would love for us to take out 15,330 and then I would look for a short. So I got in short at 15,336 and TP was actually uh, below this this target here, below 14,600. So I'm currently in a short there and I took partials off once we broke these swing lows below 15,000. So now I just move stops to break even and uh, I'm looking for us to go below 14,600 in the coming one to two weeks. So that's basically the whole update just on the four hour chart on the NASDAQ. Let's go zoom out a bit, take a look at the daily. As you can see on the daily, we went down pretty aggressively, rocketed up, got rejected at the 618 fib, and now looks like we are going to possibly take out these lows. As you can see, I personally believe that we will put in a bottom early October and then rally back up and get above the 16,000 level that was resistance previously by about December 31st into the end of the year. But I will trade piece by piece. Let's take a look back to the weekly chart weekly chart you can see we kind of went straight up without any pullbacks so now we're getting the pullback question is do we come all the way down to 13,600 would totally make sense because there's support there or do we stop above these recent highs at about 14,200 basically I think we'll get down about 14,200 on the Nasdaq coming to this fair value gap on the weekly chart from 14,400 to 14,130 I think we'll trade in there at some point in October and then trend back up and, and finish the year off positive at about, uh, above 16,000 on the NASDAQ. Taking a look at ES on the weekly chart, which is the S&P 500, just the futures. We can see that we sold off. We actually broke below the swing low at 43.70. So obviously looks bearish. Now, what I think is I thought last time we would come up to the 50%, about uh, 44.92. We almost got up there. We got about 44.85. So I didn't get in any shorts on ES because I wanted to at least get to the 50%. And we almost got there, but we got rejected so far. So I personally believe that we'll kind of chop around, maybe trade up a bit into the beginning of September. But then again, by October, get down to that support down at looking to the left. You can see we have some support at 42.60, some support at 42.90. But the biggest support based on the weekly is about 42.40, 42.50. Going down to the daily chart now, it becomes a little more clear. You can see we actually reject, got rejected at the 50-day moving average. So we had the retracement rally up to the 50-day and got rejected. Now I think that we'll just kind of trend lower, take out the lows at 43.50. And then again, about beginning of October, get down to 42.80. Because now on the daily chart, it becomes much more clear. You can just see where my mouse is. There is a, a previous resistance at 42.80 that will now become support. And then again, some more support at about 42.70 here, looking to the left. So... That's what I think on the daily. Now let's just look at the four hour and the one hour. On the four hour, 
you can clearly see we were trending lower, trending lower, trending lower, pushed up, broke below this, uh, broke above this swing high, looked bullish. And I said this in my last video. I said that you know they're gonna trap some bulls, make them think that we are gonna continue bullish. But then boom, rug pull. Now we're back down to support to the left. Question is, are we gonna build support here and come back up to 4,500 before trading lower, or kind of just trade lower? I'm in the camp that we're just gonna trade lower. It will come up to 4450 or 4460 before rolling over in September and then trading back down below 4300 in October. Uh, that's basically what I'm, I'm looking at and I'm thinking. And I want us to take a look at the dollar and then the VIX. On DXY, this is what I drew from the last video. I said that I think we'll just trade down a bit and then bottom you know, near the end of August and start pushing back up again. And remember, dollar in the market typically moves inverse. So if the dollar goes down, the market typically goes up. If the dollar goes up, the market typically goes down. So we did do this. We went down a bit, but then big push up, and that's why we got rejected again. We sold off uh, in the market. So I think now we'll continue to push up like I drew right here. I think we'll take out the... I'll we'll think we'll take out the swing highs at 104.6 now. Becomes pretty clear here. <clears throat> you can look from left to right. We had this big dump to stop everyone out. Pushed up bullish market structure got shifted above 103.4. So now it really looks like, okay, where's the next target? Next target liquidity is 104.6. I think we're just gonna trade there. And while we do that, the NASDAQ will continue to sell off. Not much to talk about here on the dollar. Uh, if we actually go up to the weekly though, it gets pretty interesting because up on the weekly chart, you can see there is this huge fair value gap um, from about 110 to about 107, 108. So the question becomes, are we gonna trade up into here? If so, expect a significant amount more pain for the NASDAQ and S&P 500. But if we just kind of get rejected, if we can't trade above 106, then that could be the end of the correction. We're having to wait and see. Clearly, you know, is what you can see right now from left to right is we made a lower swing low, a lower swing high, then we traded down, double bottomed, but another lower swing high, and then now another lower swing low. We're pushing up, and based on the weekly, we broke this bullish, uh, we broke broke this swing high, so technically bullish market starts shift, but if we really get above this high at 104.7, then, you know, the question becomes, do we have enough to push up into the fair value gap at 108? And and I think we do if we get above 104.8. So market will be pretty rough in the next coming months if we do get above there. So we'll have to watch that. And now on the VIX, it really looks like we're pushing up on the VIX. We keep making higher lows and higher highs on the VIX. And that's not something you want to see for the markets if you're bullish. You can see we got above the 50-day. We've been holding above the 50-day. We couldn't even fill this gap at 14. We made this swing low. We pushed up made another low, pushed even higher, and then built some support. And the question is, are we gonna dump even more? Or are we gonna base for another higher low and cycle up to 20 on the VIX? We're gonna have to wait and see. Same thing, VIX and the market move inverse. So as the VIX goes up, the market goes down. And we'll have to watch and see what happens there. But I am definitely having a short bias on NASDAQ and ES and uh, even weaker on the NASDAQ. So I think NASDAQ will be weaker than, than ES in the coming weeks. Uh, ES I'll day trade, but uh, NQ I'll be continuing to hold my swing shorts. So basically just expect us to possibly trade up into the end of August. So this coming week, we could trade up a bit, not a lot, but then September is one of the worst months for seasonality. So quite bearish month for September. And then I think we'll bottom in early October before rallying back up. That's gonna conclude this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. It lets me know you like these kind of videos. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week, one every Sunday at 12 p.m. and one every Wednesday night. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.